What is going on everyone, and welcome to my review of Child's Play 2, released in 1990 and directed by John Lafia, or Lafia? I don't know, but directed by that guy, and this film stars Alex Vincent again as Andy Barkley, Christine Elise as his new foster sister Kyle, Jenny Gutter as his foster mother, and Jarrett Graham as his foster father. When Andy's mother is admitted to a psychiatric hospital, the young boy is placed in foster care, and Chucky, determined to claim Andy's soul, is not far behind. Now Child's Play 2 is interesting because I feel like the majority of people that I see would say that Child's Play 2 is actually better than the first film. And what can I say, I can't disagree, this movie fucking rules. So the first of many great things to say about Child's Play 2 is the character of Andy Barkley, again. He's brilliant, he's a bit more grown up now, so he kind of has to be a little bit more, not, not so much more mature, but he just has to uh, act as though he understands this world more than you'd expect any other kid his age to understand it. He knows that it's a brutal place and that shit happens and he does a very good job at convincing you that he's not the same innocent six-year-old boy from the first movie and I think that Alex Vincent does a great job with that. Introduced to this franchise is fan favorite character Kyle who is a complete fucking badass. I love her. She's very kind of almost cynical in some ways just due to her kind of past and the fact that she's been you know moved from foster home to foster home just almost constantly she never knew her parents she's got a very cynical view of the world and she and Andy really bond together really well and I love their relationship and how it grows over the film they're really compelling characters there's just some great things that just great scenes of them just hanging out and being stupid and I really love it it's not necessarily um you know, a uh, uh, clean duo, like, you know, fucking eight-year-old boy and 17-year-old girl. But, but they're so good together, and they really make this movie, and it is one of the reasons that I would consider it better than the first. And also, this film is 84 minutes long. That is insanely short. And let me tell you, it works in this film's favour. This film is brisk, it gets to the point straight away, you're open, just kind of resolving the kind of loose ends of the first film, and then BAM! You're straight back into it. Chucky's killing people, and Andy is starting to panic, and he's trying to convince everyone around him what's going on, and it's just... It just... It hits the road running, and it never stops. I think that the kills in this movie are even better than the first as well. Obviously, Aunt Maggie's death in the first is one of the best in the franchise, but this movie, you've got shit like... How's it hanging, Phil? You've got the brilliant iconic kill of Mrs. Kettlewell played by Beth Grant who just why is she so annoying in everything why is she so annoying she's such a great actress and she really just she deserves a role when she's not a fucking pain in the ass and that 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 kill is just so satisfying and the music and the one-liner it's just chef's kiss you have the really funny scene near the start of the movie when he's got that uh kind of uh, businessman that works for the good guy company and he's in the car and he thinks he's being held hostage but he doesn't realize that he's being held hostage by a doll it's really funny and really great and then you've got that other absolutely hilarious one where it's actually the woman that like owns the uh, foster kind of like uh, I don't even know what you call it the foster company building or whatever it is and he stabs her and she falls and her face gets photocopied. It's ridiculous, but it's so funny. So basically, the kills in this movie are just top-notch. They are brilliant. I love them all. I also think that Chucky in this movie might be the best that he's ever been. And, like, seriously, he's brilliant in every single movie that he's in. This might be the one where I'm just like, yep, yeah, that's perfect Chucky. He's a mix of menacing and hilarious and those two just go tandem just perfectly hand in hand and he just has too many amazing one-liners for me to count i just think i i i i don't understand how this how this exists who the fuck thinks 
Oh yeah, let's have a serial killer transfer himself into a creepy ass doll and have him going around killing people while being a hilarious little shit. Like, I'm just like, how do people write this stuff? This is what movies are made for. These kind of movies. Child's Play 2 is the reason I love movies. There's just so many hilarious scenes. So for one, you've obviously got him when he first sees Andy. He's like, oh, did you miss me, Andy? <laughs> You got that, you got him punching the other Tommy doll, he's like, shut up you idiot! You've got the scene when he's obviously killing Miss Kettlewell, We're walking around with the yardstick just about to hammer her. I love that scene too, because you, it really shows off and boasts the animatronic effects in this film. And it's just, it's so iconic and so memorable and it's so good. You've got him forcing Kyle to drive um, to the foster care place and he's just getting all shitty with her and it's hilarious, you got him getting pulled over, and one of the best parts of the entire franchise is when the officer's like, hey, what's your name? And he's just like, Jackie. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then you've got him fully unhinged at the end, just not even trying to possess Andy, just out to kill him because he spent too much time in the doll. And the, the, the realization when he does, he just lets out this great, no! And he's like, I'm fucking trapped in here. What the hell? No! You little shit, do you know what you've done? It's too late. I've spent too much time in this body. I'm fucking trapped in here. What the hell? That little what the hell that he gives at the end before all the boxes fall on him just cracks me up every time. And this film has quite possibly one of my favourite climaxes in any horror movie ever. It is exciting, it's like 15 minutes of non-stop action using this awesome setting of the toy factory. And it's just, oh my god, it's so creative, they use everything to their advantage, you have that awesome kill when the guy's getting in and he's trying to like fix the um thing because all the other dolls were um clogging it and he's trying to get it going again but then chucky forces him back into it and he gets his eyes poked out by the eye hole thing it's it's brilliant it's brilliant stuff you've got all these conveyor belts that they're running around on and trying to crawl through chucky's getting his arm chopped off and is putting a stabbing a knife in it and chasing people around like this is evil dead 2 or some shit you've got chucky getting filled with that air and exploding everywhere and stuff like that you got chucky being filled with the, this bloody hot plastic tar stuff oh my god oh my god there's so much here and it's so enjoyable and i quite frankly love every minute of it now as brilliant as this movie is as much as i love it to death I have one complaint, and this is a complaint that is very minute. I just wish the characters of Phil and Joanne had a bit more characterization. Now the reason I bring this up is because now that I know after looking at some behind the scenes stuff is that Phil and Joanne were actually supposed to have a bit more characterization, I kind of can't unsee that now because they're kind of just, they're very one note. Joanne's very warm and kind and Phil is not. i just like to see, because because they don't really mesh that well together, it's like how the fuck did these two get married and decide to have foster kids? Listen, that is the smallest complaint. I looked just, I was thinking, Jesus Christ, I feel stupid giving Child's Play 2 five stars, but there is something missing. There's something that's not quite right here, and I finally settled on it, and I, it's just that one little thing that just holds it back from being an all-time perfect movie for me. And before we get to my final score, obviously we have the best Chucky moment in the movie. Now there are loads to choose from here, but my favourite Chucky moment in this film has to be the scene when him and Kyle are driving. And there is about three great moments here. There's one scene when Chucky gets thrown out of the front window and he's like, you goddamn women drivers! That's hilarious. You have the scene when Chucky's just like, just shut up and drive before I kick your fucking teeth in. Brilliant. But I'm going for the more obscure one here because it makes me piss my pants and fall off the couch every time I watch this. It's when he's like, What's the rush? If I don't get out of this body soon, I'll be trapped in here. What are you looking at? I think the fact that Chucky 
even for a second, shows insecurity about what he looks like as a doll. And he's just like, what are you looking at? I, I think it's brilliant. I think it's just one of the funniest moments of the entire franchise. And every single time it just gets me because it's just so, it's so petty and little. He's supposed to be this big evil serial killer, but he's got his insecurities and I think it's fucking great. I'm going to give Child's Play 2 four and a half stars. Guys, thanks so much for watching my review of Child's Play 2. Let me know what you think of this movie in the comments. Um, before I get to Child's Play 3, I'm actually going to see Saw X tomorrow. And I'm going to have a review out for that on either Sunday or Monday. Um, because that movie... Look, I wasn't excited, but after hearing some early buzz, I, I can't help myself. I'm excited for this movie. There's nothing I can do about it, but... I am. I'm keen. I'm really, really damn keen for Saw X. Fuck. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye.